What's up guys? Just doing a little video here. Got the old night of bow out. Take you around the yard. We're gonna do a few shots. It's kind of a cool summer evening. And I got my all foamed up target here. There it was. I just shoot them full spray foam. All right, so I'm just gonna go over here. I'm gonna do a shot through these trees. That tree right there. I'm gonna shoot one right through the fork. Try to put it through there. We'll just go around. This is the GoPro, so I can't really zoom in and make it really clear. But we'll, let's just do a few shots. Make a little video here. Just like you guys would do, shooting your bows for some good old practice in the yard. Oh yeah, I'm on this bow, check this out. I got my some old dovetails off some old school sites when I was little. I made one of my Martin Super Quivers into a removable one. I done an extension here and uh, I got a little TIG welder. Welded that dovetail right on there. I can slide that puppy on there. Been that really nice and I got my little light mount there when I'm hunting coons or coyotes yeah dude I freaking like nice things but when you like nice things sometimes you got to make your stuff when nobody else makes it you know so that's just what I do if I want something nice I'll make it so I tell you what I'm going to set my bow down here. Here's what I'm going to shoot through. Let's check here. Check this out. I don't know. I'm going to let this run. Hopefully I don't shoot the camera. kneeling down here this is about 20 yards I'm gonna shoot right through the fork of that tree smoked air we'll shoot another one another arrow got a bare shaft. Shoot this bare shaft through there. Oh. Check this out. The bare shaft hit the target and I think it just hit weird. It don't fly like that by any means, but there's my shots. That naked shaft did something coming through there. But hey, that's pretty good. Let's go find another little shot and do this. I'm not sure where yet. Maybe we'll bomb one deep. Yeah, I know it's hard to see. This is a good GoPro at 60 yards. Everything's going to look small. That's all I got to work with right now. About 60 yards to that deer target down there. I'm gonna throw a few down there, see what we can do. A little bit high on that one. There was one. 
I'll just keep her rolling. Dude, I've, I've literally not shot all, I haven't shot very much lately. I'm trying to let my muscles recover. That's why I started golfing. So I could use other muscles and I wouldn't chronically shoot in the yard. And it's working, I'm feeling a lot better. But these are a couple 60 yarders and it's been probably a month since I've shot over 20 yards. Here, let's check this out. First arrow probably wouldn't have got squat. If I was lucky, I would have caught the top of the spine. Second shot, definitely. Would have let that sucker go a while. Liver and guts, quartering. But that's, you know, that's where I was aiming on this deer target. Aiming, looking, whatever you want to call it. So, you know, that's how I practice. Or another one, if you guys get tired of shooting at like a a, uh, a damn target all the time, like this. Here, pretend this is a chipmunk. I'll clamp you onto this post here. set up something like that then you get like 10 minus yards away and just pretend you're varmint hunting and you, sh you shoot it kind of like that see tore part of that that foam off Anyway, that's how you get good. I haven't changed nothing on my bow except for something to do with some draw length adjustments to make it feel better for me because I'm in between a short and a medium. And to answer one of your guys' questions, I'll, I prefer the short over the medium. The short allows for better let off. And a more of a compound bow feel. I used to shoot traditional, so I, I don't want to do that. I want let off. My shoulders get shaky, and they just feel tired a lot. So that's what that's what I like. That's a short, short cams. Yeah, yeah, that's what I like. And the medium, I just can't get it. I, I don't like the feel of it. Some of you might like the feel of it. I don't. It shoots good and it shoots true to what you want to do, but I just don't like it. But that don't mean you don't have to. So, I'm not sure what else to do. I will, uh, let's go take a couple head-on shots. So maybe you can see, like looking down the arrow of my bow. I'll set you up over here or right here. Here, let, let's shoot this caribou. I'll just keep her rolling. shoot that caribou right there right in the heart So, yeah, don't really know what to say about that. I do, do a lot of shooting most of the time. Try to show you guys what I know. There's a couple arrows dead center. Got my little logo. I drew that on my quiver. 
we got some shirts and stuff but the, i kind of like that logo the axe and the arrow you can use them for everything for survival so got any questions i'm gonna try to do some more videos there's some uh, coyotes i'm gonna probably get in ready hunt because i've been seeing the fawns drop i don't want them little babies to get ate so i'm gonna take the oneida bow out there try to thump one well i'll see you guys on the next big video here not sure when it'll be hopefully you get to see an arrow blowing through coyote <laughs>